Hey! Okay guys, welcome back to something stupendous. Uh, four, I think we're on. Um, so, a little bit of a mix-up this week. Um, originally, I was going to talk about the tubes on the inside of uh, wrapping paper. But there was this one bit I wanted to do and it required a very specific hat. And I couldn't find the hat. So, um, we're gonna skip that, barring asking where the hat is. So, um, try that at a later date. So I was searching for the hat and I found all sorts of cool things. I mean, I found, found this dinosaur. Took this from my brother. But found him. Found this little angry bird dude I didn't know we had. Found my old soccer ball. And I found this hat. Well, look at this hat. It was not the hat I was looking for, but look at it. Look at this hat. So, I'm gonna wear this hat. And I know I have no have any reason to be wearing these hats, but I've decided I've become attached to the hats. and This will be a thing of hats. Great. Hope that looks good for you. I never checked it in the mirror. Alright, so, for those of you just tuning in, Something Stupendous is basically a video series where we talk about how awesome life is, and I remind you of the little things in life that are great in hopes that you can sort of build you up, you can have a better day, you can enjoy that jazz, this hat's on sideways, but... Ah. You get the deal. Life is good. Let's embrace the little things, because they're great. So, another thing I found while I was searching. This week, we're going to be talking about... Helium balloons! I have two. They're probably covering my face in this video, but we'll work around it. Oh, I have two. This one is really helium-y. So we have that. Actually, that's like a four-week-old balloon, so it's really kicking. And then we have this guy, who's a... Uh, he was a dollar. He's on a stick. And he's kind of losing his uh, life expectancy. Only gets about this far off the ground. But that's okay! So yeah, we're going to be talking about helium balloons. What is stupendous about helium balloons? Number one! And most obviously, they float. And I think that's kind of cool. I mean, that's always been kind of cool to me. I'm sure it was cool to you, especially as a kid. Maybe you've forgotten about it now, but, you know, the, as a kid, you wondered, how did the balloon float? I mean, you didn't understand things like hydrogen being lighter than the rest of air. I meant helium, not hydrogen. Helium. That's the thing I meant. Or anything like that. You were just, <gasps> it floats. And it created in your head this wonderful mental image that if you ever untied the balloon from the thing holding it down, it would just float off into the unknown. And the unknown is just a great thing for kids and people in general to think about. I mean, you know, what's out there? What's in the future? What's on your horizon? Balloons, they stimulate that. Uh, they also stimulate, too, the sense of excitement and flying and going up in the sky and doing things that seem impossible. Kids love having balloons. You see them, they've got their balloon, and they're walking around, and they're like, da 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 Then when they lose their balloon, it's like the saddest thing ever for a kid. Like that, that's life lessons right there, losing a balloon. That's just... Your parents can't get that one back for you. Parents can't fix that jazz. You probably shouldn't fix that jazz in that case because it's great learning. All right, what else is great about balloons? Hello. Balloons represent parties, and parties are always great. You know, having a celebration, getting your groove on, that sort of thing. I mean, you know, it's good to just celebrate life once in a while, whether it's a birthday, like this one, or just a general life is happy, let's smile about it and put a balloon in the room sort of party. Helium balloons guarantee that you've got a smack dabity awesome party going on. Look at this, just in my face. If you've seen the movie Up, that's just, the whole movie is a cry of the epicness of helium balloons. If you, but, you know, if Theoretically, according to the movie, if you got enough of these guys to put them on your chimney, you could float a house. Now I know, maybe that's not the most accurate thing in the world, but who cares? It 
it's an awesome idea. And I mean, they do have giant balloons you can fly around in. So maybe if you got enough of these guys, maybe not your house, but you could definitely go somewhere if you were really, really determined. Balloons also come in every single, you know, shape and color and size and occasion that you could want them to come. So they're diverse. Balloons aren't just like, I'm only a birthday thing. They're like, you can bring me anytime you want. And that reminds me, balloons are great for hitting, which sounds kind of weird, but it's just one of those things that you just got to do. And they're fine. You can just wind up as much as you want. And the balloon just comes back and it's a-okay. You can do this. Also from the movie Up, since we seem to be referencing that, balloons can be used to carry messages if you get them right. I don't know if you remember in that movie, but he puts a string on the balloon and he ties a little ties a little note on it and he sends it flying across the room to his love with a little message. It's adorable. Alright guys, so until next time, I guess, uh, stay stupendous.